Hello, and welcome to Metro Arts. I'm your host, Larry Wallace. Here on Metro Arts, we highlight some of the best in the business, from fine artists, photographers, and performing artists, to cinematographers and musical artists, all from the Metro Detroit area. On today's show, we'll check in with Gino Harris from the Poor Man's Art Collective and be some artists. In our checking in segment, let's welcome Gino Harris back to Wayne State and Metro Arts Detroit. Hey Gino, how's it going? Pretty good, glad to be here. Me too, I'm glad you're here too. So tell us about the Poor Man's Art Collective and how did it begin? Poor Man's Art Collective is an incubator, a think tank of, which combines emerging and established artists. We started back in 2003 as a response to having difficulty showing our works in established galleries. Right. Yeah. Pretty cool. So you were last here two seasons ago, mm -hmm. season four. Yeah. Tell us what's new with you. Um, we just came off of a very good uh, run at the Virgil Carr Center. Uh, the title of the show was called Independent Artists United, and it ran the span of uh, genres and types of art, and we even crossed state lines and brought in an artist from New York City uh, this time for the event, and it was a very great show. Awesome. So, Gino, I've seen some of your work, and you seem extremely talented. And it also seems like you've been doing this for a long, long time. Yeah. What type of advice would you give to upcoming artists? Um, the best advice that I could give is to be authentic. Be yourself. Never allow anybody else's opinion completely guide who you are and what it is that you have to stay have to say. You know, stick to the ideas and be open to constructive criticism to help you guide yourself to become a better artist so you can talk to the viewing public, so you can perhaps um, express yourself better and ultimately sell better. Now, where could our viewers find out more information about the Poor Man's Art uh, Collective? Well, all across social media. We're, on, we're primarily on Facebook, but we are also, also on Twitter and YouTube. And you can just look up Poor Man's Art Collective and you can find us there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Awesome. So I want to say, Gino, thank you so much for coming back to Metro Arts Detroit. Thank you for having me. Thank you. You're welcome. Up next, we'll meet some artists and find out more information about their work. You're watching Metro Arts on Detroit Public Television. Hello, and welcome to Metro Arts. Thank you. Can you start by introducing yourself and tell us a little bit more information on how you got involved with the Poor Man's Art Collection? Yes. My name is Detroit Blue, also known as Ether Blue. Um, I got involved with Poor Man Art Collective about uh, 2010 or so. I have been doing various art shows uh, with different collectives, and they asked me to be a part of it. Gino Harris asked me to be a part of it. So you brought us a piece of it. Can you tell us a little bit about it and what was the inspiration behind it? Yes, this is my rendition of the Antikarana or the Rainbow Bridge or Jacob's Ladder however you want to call it, uh, is, uh, the meaning is uh, the intellect's uh, ascension into higher perception of consciousness. Hello, you want to start by introducing yourself? Yes, my name is Judy Bowman, native Detroiter, east side, and I'm an artist. Cool, cool. So you want to tell us, um, how did you get involved with the Poor Man's Art Collective? Well, this lady that I know in Chicago, Tina Payne, she uh, said that I, she followed my work on Facebook, and she said, I need to get in touch with Gino Harris. And so I did, and that's how I'm here now, mm -hmm. because the, of Gino. Yep, the rest is history. The rest is history, <laughs> yes. So you brought some pieces with you. So just to add clarity, you have three frames here, but two pieces. Can yes. you explain that? I sure will. Um, these two pieces go together. It's called Got Me Going in Circles. And this OG right here is trying to date this young Tenderoni, and she's having this great time spending all of his money, and he loves her, but she's got him going in circles. Thus the name, Got Me Going in Circles. Mm -hmm. Now what about this one over here? This piece is called Relaxing with My Blues. And actually, this is my cousin. And he loves the ladies, and he loves his libation, and he loves, his, loves the blues, but he doesn't like wearing shoes. Whenever he comes in the house, he takes his shoes off. So this piece is called Relaxing With My Blues. And all of these are collages. 
Hello, Gina, and welcome to Metro Arts again. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. So you brought three pieces here with you today. Can you give us a little bit more information about them? Uh, all three of the pieces utilize a technique called decoupage, which is affixing uh, pictures to a flat surface. And sometimes, you know, the canvas can change determining on what you like to use. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, can you tell us what was the inspiration behind each piece? Um, each piece, you know, I tend to believe are like mood stones, depending upon how I feel at a particular time. But I like for my art to be in contrast to a lot of the things that I have gone through, you know, in my life and times. You know, a lot of people notice that I tend to use the vibrant colors because I tend to want to be happy all the time. So mm -hmm. that's why I use all the bright colors that I use. So do you have a specific art piece that's like your favorite? Well, right now, this piece right here is my favorite because mm -hmm. it is a culmination of a lot of what I've learned over the years utilizing this technique. It's called Orange and Blue. Um, and yeah, it is absolutely my favorite piece. Mm -hmm. And when was it created? Um, actually, this year uh, for the exhibit uh, that Poor Man's Art Collective did at the Virgil Carr Center, uh, Independent Artists United, it was created for that show. I would like to thank all of the artists for being here today. You're watching Metro Arts on Detroit Public Television. We hope you enjoyed today's show. I would like to thank our guests, Charity Ward, Gino Harris, and artists from the Poor Man's Art Collective, along with Carolette Phillips and performers from LSO Dance for being here today. Remember, you can catch any of our shows online at MetroArtsDetroit.com and find us on social media. I'm your host on Metro Arts, Larry Wallace, reminding you to always support the arts and cultivate the talent in your community.